Hey, it's Haplin, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to get more out of your social media strategy by using Linktree pages. Basically, if you've ever seen a link from a social media profile to a page that is not quite like a full website, but it's a little mobile friendly, kind of one stop menu with a bunch of different links to other areas of the web, probably one of which is like a home site, one of which might be like a YouTube channel or other social media profiles or whatever. That type of web page is called a link tree page. They're very commonly used and that's for good reason. It's because they're very effective. It can be extremely helpful for a new lead or a new web visitor who's just getting eyes on your business for the first time via a social media profile to uh, wanna click on a link but then not be taken to a full website but rather to like an intermediate step. It's focused, there's not a lot of distractions, not even a lot of scrolling. It gives you full control over their first impression and it still allows them to visit the website. Oftentimes the very first link is a link to their website, but it just gives you more control over exactly what they see when they first decide to take action and engaging with checking out. And, and of course, High Level has a lot of tools to help us get this done. Let's go ahead and take a look at how to set up a Linktree page. So, first of all, in a sub account, head to Sites, where I already am, and then we're gonna click Websites, where I also already am. And if you're just starting out, you can click New Website, From Templates, Continue, and then just type in the phrase link tree. And here you can see there are a bunch of different templates to choose from that are all kind of doing the same thing but get you started with a different look and a different vibe. I actually have one already here that I built based on the growth marketing template. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. Linktree Growth Marketing. So here we are, if we wanna take a look at this actual page, I'll go ahead and edit in a new tab. This is gonna pull up a full on website editor that lives inside of Go High Level. So here we can see what the page looks like. This is obviously mobile optimized. We could create a desktop version of this as well, but again, social media, 99.9% .9 of it is mobile. We will wanna make sure and customize the look, obviously change this picture out. High Level has its own entire media storage system so you can open up your media folder and upload your own images use AI to create new images or search through Unsplash and Pixabay uh, royalty-free images from the web you can also connect to Drive but you can actually store assets and images inside of here we do that for you it's totally cool so if I wanted to put the flowers in there I might do that and now this picture is of some flowers most of the rest of this stuff pretty straightforward too it's just point and click you can just edit pretty intuitively almost the same way you would edit like a word document so I'm I'm just customizing this for a fake flower shop that I just made up. Maybe I don't even want the subheading. This looks fine. This is a button, and so on the right-hand side are all the different element settings, the most important of which is the actions. Do we want it to open the pop-up, or do we want to go to website URL? Probably website URL. The pop-up, by the way, is its own little technology. It lives right over here. Obviously, I'm not gonna be able to go through every single one of these web editor settings. There is so much to get out of this and it can be a kind of as complicated as you want. There's all these different elements you can put in here, all these different ways of organizing it, etc. I recommend if you're a beginner, keeping things very simple. If it were me, I would just change the look of this to match my brand and then I would have the most important links that I want a brand new visitor to be aware of. The first one would probably be my website. I do visit our website, that's a good idea and I would link to website URL and just put my home site right in here. You can choose whether you want it to open a new tab or not. Next, if I'm prominently on other social media, like if I have a YouTube channel that I want people's eyes on, I might link that from here as well. So maybe I'll pop down to this one and do something like this. So I change the text to YouTube and then link to, you. obviously I'd wanna to link to my profile. I'm just kind of demoing through these features here. So all of that's really straightforward. The only other thing that I wanna mention is you could also do a lead uh, generation strategy with like a lead magnet. You can see the second button that I kind of skipped over earlier is free marketing strategy. Uh, in this case, for my flower shop, I might change this to free flowers. And in my opinion, this is actually so attractive that I'm gonna make it the first thing here. I just hit the up arrow to push it above the visit our website. So now the very first thing is free flowers and a lot of people will probably tap on that. And then what I might do here strategically is either link this to another page with the offer on it. If I already have some kind of a lead magnet or already some kind of lead generation mechanism going on with my website, I might link them straight to that page. Or if I don't 
don't have that, I might just build it straight into this link tree. So in the free flowers a button, I would do, I would actually do the pop-up and then I would set the pop-up up, up to um, include a form. So we can actually pull forms in and this is something that we'll learn more about in a different module, but we have the ability to create forms and collect lead information via a form builder, which is a totally separate feature, but then we can put those forms on websites very easily with the click of a button as I'm about to do here, or we could embed that form anywhere on the web with custom code if we wanted to. So I'll just use this contact us form. Obviously in a new sub account, you would need to go create this form. This form lives over in the form builder, and we're not gonna go super deep on forms because it's a little bit off the beaten path. So many of these different features in high level relate to one another, but this one is about Linktree pages specifically. But here's an example of a form. This could be uh, edited if I wanted to make the colors better, etc. But this is basically the idea. Now somebody can click free flowers. Maybe they pull up a form that says when you purchase $25 bouquet or more, you get an extra couple flowers. I don't know what a flower shop would really be offering. I'm just kind of making this up. But that all said, having kind of a standing lead magnet offer for just anybody who's interested in your business, giving them a good reason and giving you a good excuse to gather lead information and kind of get them taking steps down the path toward becoming a sale, really good idea works really well with this link tree strategy so again lots going on with the web editor you don't have to be a master website builder to get the most out of this obviously i highly recommend visiting our knowledge base uh, reading help doc articles learning more about this feature if you really want to nerd out about it and go deeper but in terms of just the basic strategy the beginner's guide i recommend not over complicating things just start with a template include your most important links make it really Really easy for somebody who's brand new to just understand what your business is really about with just a quick glance 30 seconds or less and once you've got to that point you'll pretty much be ready to save and publish there is one more big step though which is what is the actual URL where is haplandsflowershop.com in order to achieve this we will need to connect a domain so you're gonna click connect domain and then obviously if we've never done this before we will need to add a domain so I think I'll have a bunch of options here but I'll click add just so that you can see what that looks like. This page can also be found in settings. So we're just in the main page right now, head down to settings in the bottom left hand corner. And then if we just scroll down a little bit, we see domains right there. Now at this point, you'll need to click connect a domain. Presumably I would have a business has a website, right? Haplandsflowershop.com is built on WordPress or on Wix or Squarespace somewhere else. I don't know, but I probably own that domain either on GoDaddy or Cloudflare or somewhere. High level will actually help you create what's called a subdomain if I wanted to do like linktree.haplandsflowershop.com. It's like a variation on my domain or I can set up the root domain. I could actually transport haplandsflowershop.com over into high level to have all of my sites set up on that root domain. This is actually really powerful because high level's web editor, if you didn't notice, it does a lot more than just link trees. We could build the full site 16 pages plus the link tree page plus the forms plus everything you can do a lot of really big things in high level but that all said it can be a big chunk it can be a big bite to chew if you're working with a client or if your local business you did all this work at some point to get a website set up do you necessarily have to migrate everything over to high level you can but you don't have to and at the end of the day, this is the quick wins playbook. We want quick wins, quick and easy wins that don't involve having to rebuild the client's entire website. So that's why for this, we're just gonna focus on building a subdomain for the link tree. So depending on where your domain lives, if it's in GoDaddy or Google or Cloudflare or Bluehost, uh, then the next step becomes a little bit uh, more individualized. It depends on what platform your your uh, domain is hosted on for what we should actually do in order to build a subdomain. We got to update some DNS records, etc. I've included a link beneath this video that is a fantastic help doc article from our knowledge base that deals specifically with just setting up either a C name, a subdomain, or an A record root domain, getting that all situated in a high level sub account so that you can send a high level funnel or website live. So once you've had a chance to do that, then you will have a domain hooked up live and you'll be able to set it into your link tree. So if we go back to sites and we review that link tree page, 
we could either go where I went before, edit it, and then set it up that way, or just go to settings. This is where we can see the same exact thing. And then we can add the domain. And then uh, the path, once that's set up, then you can control the path by just going to the page settings. And then the path is right here. So if my domain were in this case, demohighlevel.com, then I'd go to demohighlevel.com forward slash Let's go ahead and update this to just Linktree Haplin or something. And now when I preview this, we can see it's actually demohighlevel.com forward slash Linktree Haplin. So it's all working well. So as you can see, here we are on the Linktree page. It is obviously optimized for mobile. It'd be really easy to create a desktop version of this as well. Like I said, we can build full websites uh, optimized for all kinds of views with multiple pages, etc. But just for this specific Linktree strategy, Haplin's Flower Shop is up and running and we can pull this pop-up up even to uh, interact with the form builder. And now I'd wanna take this uh, link down demo high level forward slash Linktree Haplin and just paste it into the about me sections on my various social media platforms. And what I would have as a result is a beautiful social media strategy predicated on giving people more paths to interact with me. Of course, if I have direct CTAs that get people into comments and DMs, that's one way to grow via social media and generate sales conversations, etc. But it's so important that we give people other options for ways to interact with the business, engage with it, visit our website, etc. And the link tree strategy is just an improvement on sending people to a basic home site. If you ran into any problems, particularly with domain setup, that is a little bit of a tricky uh, technical area. I highly recommend using this as an opportunity to get on your kickoff call and allow us to help you live. Obviously, in this format, I'm not able to go into the specific details of your specific situation, but our support team is and that's what we're there for. So uh, if you want to get the most out of a link tree strategy, make sure you hop into your Zoom call, your kickoff call, and let us hold your hand through that setup process. We'll be happy to help you. Once you have your link tree page up, you can go ahead and move on to the next module.